All right, this is what we're going to make. Uh, this is what we're making right now. We've done the, uh, the H1 tag here with the text shadow and the horizontal navigation. Okay. So we have something like that. We're going to put in the pictures. You can choose whatever pictures you want. Uh, a little subheading, an H3 tag, a paragraph of Latin text, a couple paragraphs of Latin text, and we're actually going to talk to the first letter of the paragraph, this example of the P right here, and enlarge it and uh, kind of stylize it. So uh, again, we, we're floating a, an image left, wrapping paragraphs of Latin text around it, and then floating an image right, and kind of filling up the page. So. This is what the finished product is going to look like. So, uh, with that in mind, here's where we are right here in the videos. I'm going to go in Text Wrangler, and I'm always going to work in HTML first. So here's the here's the body tag, and here's all the HTML we have right now. I'm going to go below here, oh, and I am going to add. A picture so we're going to put the uh, the picture first and we're going to use an image tag IMG SRC and the picture is called dog one dot JPG and it's actually in the folder where this web page is. Again, you always want um, the pictures and the web page together in the same location. And I'm going to give this picture a class name. Again, we're going to use the class name to talk to the name in this CSS and uh, separate it out or individually design it from the other pictures on the page. So, so I'm going to say class equals, and in quotation marks, pick one. So from now on, this picture, this image tag, will be called pick one to the computer. Okay? And then right after that, let me see if I can go down a little bit here. Uh, we're going to do an H3 tag. And just a little subheading tag. Again, we can design it and tell it how large to be. We can actually make them larger than the H1 tags if we'd like. We have that much control on C in CSS. So I'll close the H3 tag, just say subheading here. And then we're going to create some paragraphs. So I'm going to do the open and close P tags. I've already copied from lipsum.com a paragraph of Latin text. Okay, now see how it goes in one line here. If you have that happen to you in Text Wrangler, we can go up to Text Wrangler, go to View text display soft wrap and it'll wrap in the window okay so we're actually going to do let me grab this whole paragraph here copy it paste it okay so we have let me get rid of this spacing here and so we have two paragraphs and so with two paragraphs, let's see, that should be good enough. Now we're going to uh, put in the cat picture that I have here. Or actually, let's do a, we'll do an HR tag here. Okay. And we'll do maybe one more paragraph. I think it worked. <laughs> yes, it did. Okay. All right. And now we'll put in the second image. So let me see what the second image is called here. Cat one. So easy. So again, I'm gonna. I already have the image uh, located in the same location as this web page. It's called cat one. Let's see, it might be underscore here. Cat1 dot JPG. 
That's, oh, that's in quotation marks. And then I'm also going to give it a class name, again, to separate it out from the other image so I can put it on the right instead of both on the left. And I'm going to say pick two is the class name. Okay. And then we're going to add some more paragraphs here. Okay. Oops. I already had them. So let me add some more. And that should do it. Okay, so that's all the HTML. The H3 tag, the image, let's see here. I put an image here, and then I put the H3 tag, and then I put a couple paragraphs of text, Latin text. I put an HR, and I added one more uh, paragraph of Latin text. We actually don't need this P tag, closing P tag right there. And that is the HTML. So let's go up, and we'll just kind of design. I was going to make to another video, but we'll just kind of go up and and talk to all these tags that we added, the h3 tag, the image tag, h3 and the paragraph and the H, hr tag, and we'll design this thing. So here I am in the CSS, and again, the CSS is basically the way you style a page now, and it's all between the style, ta style tags. I'm gonna go down to where I just ended in between the style tags, here I am. And I'm going to talk to pick one. So remember, we gave it a class name of pick one. So I have to use a period before the name. OK. So pick one. And there's a number of things we're going to do to pick one. First of all, we're going to float left. Now, I already resized this thing. I double clicked it. It opens in preview. And I'm able to go tools, adjust size. And I resized it, uh, I don't know, to maybe 350, 400 pixels wide. So we're going to float it left. And then we're going to add padding. And padding is empty space inside an element. And we're actually going to do every side. So because we're saying just padding and not padding dash left or padding dash top or whatever, it's all sides. We're going to add 25 pixels of padding. And then we're going to add margin, and that's going to basically push the paragraphs away um, from the image and give it some spacing, empty space around the image. So I'm going to say margin, and I'm going to give it four numbers. The first number here is going to be for the top, 20 pixels from the top, 30 pixels from the right, 20 px from the uh, bottom, and 20 px from the left. It's top, right, bottom, left. OK? Now, I'm going to give it a background color. And I went on to uh, Color Lovers and grabbed a color scheme. And you can grab your own. OK, notice I have a number sign before the hexadecimal color number. And now, this is the great one. We're going to do a border radius and a border radius is going to round our corners by so many pixels okay because I gave it padding and because I gave it a background color it's going to create sort of a frame around it here's the padding and that padding is going to be colored with the background color and then we're going to round that padding uh, by 20 pixels so it's going to create a rounded uh, look to it so I'm going to save that, and let me just kind of show you what it looks like now. So we haven't done anything to our heading or our paragraphs, but that's what our picture looks like there. Okay, so we're looking good. Let me go back to Text Wrangler. Now here's the great thing. I'm going to copy and paste this whole thing I did for pick one. I'm going to paste it below it, change it to pick two, and instead of floating left, we're going to float right.
and we're going to change a little bit of the margin because we want these, the, the right hand side of this first one, that's where the paragraph is on that side of the image. We wanted more spacing there. So um, the, the paragraph on this is going to be on the left, which is right here. So we want to up this to 30 and we want to bring this back to 20. Okay, but notice I was able to copy and paste. In coding, it's great to copy and paste. It really saves you time. So we're now, now our pick one and pick two is going to look the same. Let me go up just really quick and kind of show you what this looks like. Okay, here we are. And again, we haven't done anything with our paragraph, but here's our meditating dog and our meditating cat. Okay, so we're going to go and uh, right after the pick two here, again, I'm going to stylize the page. We're going to talk to the H3 tag, which is that small little subheading we did. And we're going to say, hey, computer, we have a H3 tag down there. Open up some curly brackets. In between the curly brackets, again, we're going to create um, a laundry list of stuff. I'm going to change the size of it. And we're going to use EM. 1M is whatever normal H3 size text is. We're going to double it, 2M. OK? And then the font family, I'm going to change the font style or family of the font. And I'm going to say impact. And that's a very bold, broad, big lettered uh, type of font. Now, the color, anytime you see color in, in CSS, that's for text. Again, I, I grabbed a certain color scheme. And I'm going to create padding, which again is empty space around the text, around the element on all sides. And then I'm going to create a text shadow like I did for the H1 tag. So I'm going to say text-shadow. And it's two pixels, uh, I believe from the bottom. I think that's the first number. Two pixels from the right. And then the color is two, 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 sorry, two, two, two. And that's kind of a dark gray. Okay. So that take care of, takes care of the H3. Now, I'm going to stay inside the style tags here. I'm going to talk to the P first letter. So again, if you... If you remember our finished product, where is it, right? Somewhere here. Here, here we go. So our first product, our finished product, I, I'm talking to the first letter of each paragraph and changing the look of it, okay? Kind of a simple style idea to do. I'm gonna go in and talk to the it's P colon first dash letter. Okay. And again, open curly brackets and close curly brackets. In between, we're going to stylize this thing. We're going to say float left. Okay. We're going to have a font dash size. And you can change this if you use a different font or, oh, sorry. See how exact I'm being? A line height is the height between, the vertical height between lines of text. Well, this is actually going to help us um, keep our text close enough to the other text. And then the margin, again, I'm being very specific. Okay, and the color, that's the color of the text. Okay, 
So let's see how we're looking here. We haven't done, we haven't dealt with the, uh, here we go. So here's our subheading with the text shadow. Here is our P tag right here. Okay. Our first initial letter P is already stylized. And now what we're going to do is we're going to talk to the actual paragraph, just the P tag itself. Notice that I'm talking specifically to the first letter of the paragraph up here. And down here, I'm just going to talk to the actual paragraph, not the first letter, but everything else. Okay. So the P is going to be font dash size. Come on. And again, I'm using M, 1.5 M. So whatever one, nor whatever normal font size for paragraph text is, that's 1 M. 1 1.5 M is just a little bit larger. The font family, I'm going to choose Helvetica. And the color, so that is pretty much it. Let me open this up and see what we have here. There. So you should have something like that. Now, again, I didn't really deal with the HR tags. We don't really need them. But, uh, you know, it's a fairly good-looking page, especially with the first letter of the paragraph being stylized separate, separately. So that's it. So um, that this is a video tutorial of something we did live in class for those of you that weren't there. And you can watch this and turn it in, put it in your folder uh, with Web1, whatever your period is, and make a folder for a centered nav page. Thanks.